Now this is with regards to the practice of Sunnat. I am told that it is uh, actually emulating the practices done by Prophet Muhammad. And uh, if we're only supposed to bow down to the formless God, why do we follow practices which are done by a human incarnation, particularly things like growing your hair to a certain length, which may not have a particular significance in terms of benefit, or kissing the Hazrat Aswad when someone also declined that you are just a stone and Prophet Muhammad didn't kiss you, I wouldn't do this either. Brother, that's a very good question. That's a very good question that when we agree Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not Almighty God, why do you have to emulate him? Why do you have to copy him if he's the incarnation of He's not incarnation of God. So in your sentence, no, a human incar a human form. He's a human being. He is the best human being, but he's not God. Why do we follow? Because Almighty God has said that. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 59, Atiullah ob Atiur Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. God has said, God said, follow the Prophet, we follow. For example, I'm the boss of a company. I tell, follow my general manager. Now, you will say, why follow general manager, boss? Boss is saying so. If boss says, you have to follow. Unless the general manager goes against me. And if the trusted general manager never go against me. So similarly, the prophet will never go against the teachings of Almighty God. It is because he is the messenger who has got the message of God for us. So when you emulate him, it gives us no blessings. But we can't worship him. We love the prophet. We revere him. We love him. We obey him. But we don't worship him. So people who go to Darga, Khwaja Mahinuddin Chiste and all this, this is wrong? It's nowhere mentioned in the Quran to go to Darga. There's no hadith saying go to Darga. And the second part, the significance of Hazrat Aswad? Hazrat Aswad again, because the Prophet kissed it, I'm emulating. It doesn't become the fard. It's not compulsory, you have to do it. Sunnat means you will get blessing. But in Sunnat, if you don't do, there's no negative point. In fard, you have to do it. If you don't do it, negative points. Like praying five times, you have to do. Don't do negative points. Sunnat means if you do, plus points. If you don't do, no negative points. So these are additional bonus points. So if you want bonus, you can do it. Not compulsory. If you don't do also, no one can say that you're not a good Muslim. So when you do it, you get additional bonus point. And a good Muslim tries to get more bonus point. But no one can say it's a sin. Therefore, it becomes the sunnah. So Prophet kissed it, we are kissing it. Even if you don't kiss it, yet there's no problem. Hope that's the question. Yeah, thanks very much. You're welcome. All the other human beings, most of them, they are blindly following their parents. The Christian, he is a Christian because father is a Christian. The person is a Hindu because father is a Hindu. Most of the Muslims are Muslims because their father is a Muslim. This atheist is thinking. His father, his parents may be religious, but he does not believe in the gods which his parents were.